Hi guys, we're back. We've done a little bit of painting. And uh got the black on on the hat. Shake coat should I say. Got to do the crest, we've got to do this face. Um got some of the backpack done, still got the bed roll and the the food container and the strapping to do on that one. Um, ammo pouch. Got to do the colouring in there plus the hand. These are control points and that's a bit of strapping. Uh, still got to do the water bottle. You know, blue. And we need to do the bag. Oh, the photo, focus. Uh, this is buff, but it needs. We're gonna like try and lighten this down a little bit on on the buff. Uh, I would have thought it was whether this is main body, as you can see. I've just glued the base on. So we got the blue. And the red on the tunic. Um, that's a lot darker than what is actually coming on the camera. The camera that shows that quite bright red, but it's not. That is a hell of a lot darker than that. And we've also got the arms with the blue cuff. I think I use Prussian blue on that one. Mm, Eight ninety nine from model color. Um, we've got top. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to progress through the uniform now. Uh, I'm going to start with the arms, and we're going to go with a bit of red and see what we come up with. Oh, welcome back. I'm where I am with the uh, Grenadier Guardsman, so I'm painting the rifle. Sorry, the brown best musket. It's not a rifle, it's a musket. No. Uh, I'm going to get a focus. I don't think so. I think it's too much, too much light reflecting off of there, but got brass on the end, got brass gun lock, uh, trigger guard, got brass for where the ramrod would go, um, the hand. It's paint. It is painted. Um, still got bits to do on this figure, so I'll give you a, a glimpse if it, it, it don't fall apart on me. On Francis, got a scared. It's got a scared look. I'm not surprised. He's yeah. He's got the French coming at him. Uh, just like Scarlet, he's got his brass Ulstring Guard logo uh, badge on his hat and uh, there we go, this is a little bit better he's a little bit washed out and in his Ammunition pouch. Uh, the hole here is for um, his water bottle. Um, I think that it's the bright white on it that's making it look a little bit washed out. But yeah, it's coming along, doing well. I'm quite happy with the face. I like the fact that he's fright, he's scared shitless. To be honest with you, um, this is. CGS models, 
or should I say C get this right CGS military figures if you're interested in any of their sculpts or any of their figures they do they are mainly Napoleonic I've seen mainly Napoleonic Napoleonic figures on there there are a few World War II items on there, a couple of airborne figures, etc. Um, their website address is www.cgsmilitaryfigures, or one word, .co.uk. They are UK based. Uh, they do have some really, really, really nice sculpts. I've seen a nice French standard bearer on there. Goal in his back, that's for his backpack. I haven't got round to let's leave him down there. Give you a rough idea what it's going to look like. Bit of balance, not really going to balance, but um, the musket is going to go about there, and then he'll have his ramrod in his hand. So, yeah, we're getting there. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.